so sometimes when they hit it off in different directions, then that's when you see the rules officials come to the party. Well, Kate Burton has got out there and found the man to give us all of the rulings. It's Dan Down the Rules, man. Jeez, just when I thought I got my snap hook under control, it's come back to haunt me. And I find myself in a spot of bother. I think I need Dan Dan, the rules man, to come and help. Where is he? Dan, are you around? Dan? Aha! Woof! Break next No worries, week. here I am. Oh, thank goodness for that, Dan. I'm in such a pickle over here. How did uh, you get up there in the first place? Yeah, you don't want to know. You don't want to see my flat swing and that snappy hook. But, Dan, can I play this shot? Uh, Kate, actually, you can play that shot if you uh, desired. Um, I don't know exactly uh, <laughs> what kind of shot you're going to produce, but uh, you can always play your golf ball as it lies anywhere on the golf course. I can, OK, so anywhere at all. If I'm in a hazard, through the green, play it, no matter what, unless obviously I'm out of bounds. That's correct. OK, so I'm actually thinking, I had a couple of practice swings, Dan. I don't think I'm going to be terrific at this, so what are my options? I, I don't think I'll play. We're on the first hole here at the Serapong course. The green is just over there, and um, I'm trying to escape with a miraculous par. Maybe Dan Dan, the rules man, can help. Well, as far as escaping with a par, it <laughs> might be a little bit more difficult than you originally think, but your options in here okay. are either to play it as it lies right. or declare the ball unplayable. Right. When you declare the ball unplayable, you have three options. Right. You can uh, drop the ball directly where it lies with, uh, within two club lengths from where it lies in the tree. Okay. In any direction, not near the hole. Sure. You can go back in line of play from where the ball originally lay mm -hmm. to the hole. Okay. And you can go back on that line as far as you want. Right. And uh, the uh, third option is to go back to where you originally played from, which okay. in this case was the tape. Now, okay, so good options. I am thinking. Hang on, I'm going to jump down. Are you ready for me, Dan? I'll catch. OK, you're going to have to. <laughs> you're going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're not going to play it. We're going to look at Dan's options, and I think we're going to pick this ball up. So we need to mark it, don't we? Actually, you don't need to mark the ball okay. uh, unless you're going to replace it where it is. OK. You do, it, it's a good idea to mark the ball, so you have a reference point. Right, OK, right. Well, I haven't got a T for this purpose, but we're, um, what we'll do, we're just going to, right, we'll, we're gonna, we know it's there. Right, so what okay. we do is we find a spot directly below the ball okay. on the ground, and that's the point where you're going to measure from. So two club lengths I've got. Two club lengths in any direction. Right, so let's try this. We're not going nearer the hole. That's correct. Oh, it doesn't look too good, this option. Well, hang on, not... So that would take me to here. That's correct. Oh, I don't know if I like that. That's not looking too promising. I could, as you say, go all the way back the line between taking, keeping the hole and the ball in line, yeah? That's correct. Where that ball lay and the hole, you would, you would uh, draw an imaginary line. Sure. And then you will just continue back as far as you want on that line okay. uh, until you find a desirable piece of ground to play from. I'm going to try that, Dan. I've got my 60-degree wedge. I'm feeling pretty confident. So I'm going to take it all the way back on this line. OK? We can keep on going, can't we? We, we can go, go as back far as far as, as we want. That's correct. OK. So is this line good? Uh, that would be, yes, that would be directly online, yes. Okay, right. Well, I think I'm going to drop it here. <laughs> Have you got an 80-degree wedge? <laughs> That's quite a ways up there, That's Kate. quite a ways up there. Okay, well, that's the rule. We've got the three options if we declare it unplayable. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, anything, anytime I can help, Kate. <gasps> I think a par's looking unlikely.